Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you five different ways that a beginner drummer can keep time on their hi-hats. Let's get into it. So the first way that we're gonna look at keeping time on the hi-hats is with eighth notes. Now they're called eighth notes because there's eight of them that make up a bar of music. So if we're playing a straight quarter note beat underneath, each one of our bass drum and snare drum notes is gonna be matched with two notes on the hi-hat. And the way we count eighth notes, if you're not aware, is one and two and three and four and. So here it is. One and two and three and four and. Now the second way we're gonna keep time on the hi-hats is doubling the eighth notes and we're gonna play 16th notes. Now to do this, we're gonna move our left hand up onto the hi-hat from the snare drum. So we're playing continuous 16th notes, and when we need to play a snare drum, we move our right hand down to play the snare on the two and on the four. So the way we count 16th notes is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So here we go. One E and a two E and a three E. But now if we're gonna play a straight beat underneath, you need to remember on the two and the four to move our hand down to the snare drum. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And now to play straight, we just add the bass drum on the one and the three. Now method number three, we're getting a little bit more complicated. We're gonna keep that pattern of 16th notes, but not with two hands. So now we're thinking in 16th notes played on one hand. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the E of the 16th notes. So we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So that's what we're playing on the hi-hat with one hand. So we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And again, let's just put a straight beat underneath that. Method number four, we're gonna be doing what is known as a shuffle pattern. Now, if you haven't heard of a shuffle before, what we're gonna do is something similar to what we just did with the 16th notes, where we played them continuously and then we took one out, but we're gonna do it with triplets. So if we count triplets, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, we're taking out the and, so we're taking out the middle of every single triplet. So we would have one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Here it is on the hi-hat. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Now to get the right feel and sound for the shuffle and also to play it faster, you need to practice this hand technique. So for all the quarter notes, the one, two, three and four, we have a louder hit where we, that we hit on the edge of the hi-hat. And the note we play on the ah uh is an upstroke. So as we're bringing our hand up, we use our fingers to flick the top of the hi-hat and that is how we get our second note. So we have one louder and one softer. And it's the interchanging between the loud and the soft that gives it that shuffling kind of feel. Here it is with a groove. And the fifth and final way that we're gonna look at keeping time on our hi-hat is not with our hands at all, it's with our foot. 
Now this is what you would do if you were keeping time on the ride cymbal or the crash or the floor tom or you were marching on the snare drum. All we're doing is we're stomping on the quarter notes with our hi-hat foot. So if our eighth notes are one and two and three and four and, then we're just gonna stomp on the quarter note. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. So if we're keeping time on the ride, one and two and three and four and. Now let's do it with the groove. First, I'll get into the rhythm of the groove and then I'll add the quarter notes on the hi-hats. Now when it comes to practicing that quarter note stomp, change up the bass drum patterns, change up the snare drum patterns and keep it going throughout your fills as well. And there it is, five different ways that you can keep time on your hi-hat. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and you got something out of it. And don't forget that I do have a Patreon channel. So if you wanna put in a request for a drum tutorial of a specific song, or you wanna to chat to me about what you're working on the drums and you need a bit of help, or you, there's some exercises you wanna focus on, jump on there, I'll put the link in the description and go check out all of the extra content that I put on there every single week. That's it from me, I'll see you on the next one.